College Station, Texas A&M quarterback Connor Wigman is finally playing in the contest he should have played in earlier in the season, against an allegedly lesser non-conference opponent so he can get a feel for the college game. Of course Wigman, a five-star prospect from Bridgeland, didn't play for the first time this season until the fourth quarter of a tight game, and eventual loss, at South Carolina, not exactly ideal for getting one's feet wet, and arm loose, on the college level. Wigman, who was behind Elders Haynes King and Max Johnson on the depth chart early in the season, will start his second consecutive game on Saturday morning, this time in the Aggies non-conference finale against 1-9 Massachusetts. A&M is expected to snap a six-game losing streak, its longest in 50 years. If somehow not, well, that would be seven straight for the first time since the Aggies lost nine in a row to close out the 1970 season under then-coach Gene Stallings. On to your missives, as always some edited for brevity and clarity Q. I am an older Aggie who, as a student suffered through the days of coaches Jim Myers and Hank Goldberg, 